Hey, what's up? I'm Gavin Burnson. We're doing a day in a life today. This is the room. The amazing, amazing pee room. Got a couple guys getting dressed right now. This is Will Chelly. This is my roommate. I live with him. This is Will. I, this is Will. Yeah, he's, he's an amazing roommate. He makes, he makes some good mac and cheese. Just about to go on for the 10 a.m. skate today. You know, pre-game skate, we have a game tomorrow. I don't know what to say. My mom fell out. Yeah. So bad. Don't go near me. They bite you today? Yeah. That's crazy. I know. I don't know why they chose me. Uh, yeah! Oh my god, did you see that? Oh, I want third now. I want, I want, I want third. No. Why didn't you let me take it? <laughs> Shut up. No, all right, which one's better? Like, come on. Nah, it just looks like you're running out of tape and you just have to throw something together. This is like, this is art. This is art. Ow! <laughs> Just finished up practice, we're gonna get undressed now, do some team stretching upstairs, and probably get some food after. I'm nervous. So my family and I moved around a lot, and uh, when I was four years old, I was living in Montreal, the old port, and there would be like these outside rinks, like outdoor rinks, that would, uh, that would come up like really, by, like really close to my house, so my mom and I would go out, and my mom would actually teach me how to skate, we're like the cone and we like skate circles. It was, it was so much fun. So yeah, going out there like every morning, I'd go like, she'd pull me on a little sled to the rink. And then we'd lace up there and just, just skate for hours. So after we, I lived in Montreal for seven years and then my family and I moved to Mexico City, which was a tough adjustment for like, for literally everything. Like, for like, I don't know, I had to learn Spanish. I had to like, like even the hockey, like they didn't have like arenas. They had, they was all in malls. So we'd have to like drive 45 minutes through all this traffic to get to like this mall just so I could have practice and like, like you know the ice wouldn't be good, like the skate sharpeners, like the skates would be awful but like I still found a way to play hockey there. And then after uh, Mexico, I moved to Buffalo, New York where I did uh, fifth grade and then middle school and then until my sophomore year of high school until I moved here. I played, I just played travel hockey there for uh, like my town and then like for just other like AAA teams. I went to a CCM showcase in Colorado, in Denver. And uh, Coach Bertoni actually scouted me and saw me there and offered me a spot here. So I'm trying to sell my Pokemon cards today. You know, it's a sad day, but... Oh, maybe, maybe it's a happy day. <laughs> maybe, it's, maybe it's gonna be a happy day, but we're in like the card shop right now. Getting, gonna get an estimate soon. So. We're building another collection here of the ones that we can't sell. <laughs> you see those hard cases? That's what you mean. Yeah, my, oh my, my mom got them for me at Walmart. 92. 92 dollars. I, I need to think it over. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a big, it's a big deal. Yeah, losing your collection right here. Right? Oh yeah, I think I'm going to take them home. Alright, leave them out of the stupid binder. <laughs> Why? The binder's cool. <laughs> You're better off. It's easier for people to look through them. The binder's also like real bad. Like, like real bad. Yeah, those are not good. Yeah. That's not a good binder. Those are good binders. Oh, you're trying to sell me stuff now? Thanks for your time today.
Yeah. Very happy about that. Yeah. What? Right. Do you want Funko Pop? Oh, yeah. Can we get the Star Wars <laughs> Funko Pops? Uh, I, I really like it here. It's a, it's a really good experience. I mean, I don't, I'm fortunate to experience it. Like, like right now, how I'm still pretty young. Like I'm living by myself, like the hockey here, the facility, everything just, it's, it's, a really, it's a really good place here. It's a lot different. Like, you know, I want my parents here to like, I don't know, tell me to go do the dishes or tell me to go do the laundry. Like, it's a lot of accountability being by yourself and like, but, like you're surrounded by a lot of great guys too. Like hockey was? Yeah. Um, it's like the physicality of it and uh, just like the plays and everything. It's a lot like, like I, I wasn't used to knowing, like having to memorize all these different plays and like all these different systems. So that's probably the hardest part, but like the coaching and everyone's made it really easy to adapt. So probably the school. I mean, it's, it's all online school. So I'm not like going into a place. I don't have like physical teachers I can talk with. It's all like me sitting down, staring at this computer, doing like these live lessons, like recorded on YouTube and uh, like all my tests and everything. It's all online, there's no paper. This is the grid. All right, this is 202, it's our room. So we got four people that live in here. Hey Jed. Jed does not live here. He lives at 10 Man, but he stops by a lot. This is Aiden Healy's side of the room. This is mine. Uh... Yeah, you know, I got the queen there. Got a Christmas, got a Christmas tree. We're very festive here. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is, this is the arena, too, where a lot of knee hockey games go down. Pulling into Walmart now. It's where I get all my grocery goods here <laughs> with, with some of the boys. I think we're just going to get some essentials today. We got Jed. You see our captain, okay. Where are the Uncrustables? Yep. My mom, my mom taught me a lot of stuff. She taught me how to make like taco meat. Um, oh, just, just a lot of like good dishes, some cheap dishes that are pretty good. Frozen food too. I can, I can really work in air fryer, so. It's probably my favorite aisle, favorite, uh, favorite aisle in Walmart, the Dino Nuggets section. So there's a lot of different choices, but I go for the Tyson Fun Nuggets. Uh, they have a good graphic on the front, they're pretty tasty. Coach T actually tells me to eat these every single day, so... Shout out Coach T for those. <laughs> these? Yes, please. I thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Playing like everyone else who's a lot older than me, it's like someone to prove when I'm on the ice every shift and during practice, so... I mean, I just... I just like try and keep on working hard every single time I'm on the ice, so... Milk break. Just with the systems and everything, I feel like I'm, gr I'm getting like a better grasp over everything in total, so, I mean, and it's a lot better now. I learned a lot. Stop, dude. Oh my god. What the? That is what? What? That is what? what? Uh, we're gonna head back to the grid now. And, uh, I don't know, I don't know what we're gonna do there, but we'll figure it out. Three, two, one. Up. Oh, oh my god! Well, I'm going to beat you in mini six. Are you going to play me or Healy first? Who? Yeah. Where did you just pull that out of? My leg. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, okay, it's I thought it was supposed to be like frozen. No, it's a warm up. We're doing our uh, annual, not, not our daily mini hockey games. We're already one down. This is our second game today, but uh, I'm just going to smack Healy again. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Just cut the cameras. Oh, yeah, we're heading over to Colorado so yeah. I can get my hair cut. Bye, Rolf. <laughs> yeah, my line mates live there. Yeah. Wicker oh, and yeah. Rolf, so I mean, <laughs> over there a lot. Hello! We're rolling. What's up, fellas? It's so my line mate, Rolfie. Oh. oh my god! Did you see those hyper reefs? It's all you. You're like Spider Man. Who am I here with today? Sean Valdez. Okay. How's your uh, transition been to the Railers uh, from your past team on the Railers, your current team right now? 
there's a lot of leadership and a lot of great guys, and it's really cool to see everybody come together over a great sport. So it's been a blast. Who's your favorite person on the race? Oh. Uh, he's a really great person. One of, a really great, like, teammate guy. A really... God. <laughs> God. <laughs> Alright, anything that you want to conclude? Any messages you want to give the people? Um, hi, Mom. I miss you. Oh, my God. We're playing Chell right now. Uh, I, it's not there's very, no other ways to put it. Yeah, I, I'm he's, not good at Chell. It's not very good. I'm not... It's so hard. No! <laughs> oh! Come on! Come on! What happened? No! 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 He paused that! He paused that! He paused it! Wait, so you were out in Colorado? How? Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a Colorado's kitchen here. My nice second, little kitchen. My second home. Every, yeah. uh, today we're doing a little, uh, can we do a little episode of uh, Chew the Woo? Little mini episode. Little mini episode of Chewing the Woo. We're uh, we're making some taco meat. It's my uh, it's it's my dish basically. It's it's my dish of choice. It's a taco taco in a bowl, but we don't have all the taco ingredients, so it's just ground beef. You have beans? No. Just ground beef uh, and rice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Putting the uh, the beef on the pan. What's your name and number? What team? Are you? Uh, I play for the Rellers. Uh, my name's Colin Barry, BM number 71. Beautiful. What's your dish of choice besides your uh, rice with cheese? Um, probably chicken marsala. Um, what are you doing on an off day? I mean, obviously I know that. Probably, probably gonna go home, honestly. Go home and, uh... Where do you live? Fish? Uh, I live in Grind. Okay. <laughs> Is this an interrogation or an interview? So what do you we'll do? We'll be asking the question. <laughs> yes, the time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All of it? Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, you see that coloring? Good. That... I'm going to summer. It's almost, and... it's almost ready. <laughs> this is literally like, this is amazing. How do you think you compare to Colin? <sighs> it's disrespectful to compare me to Colin. <laughs> I'm making a bowl right now, a taco bowl. So I put rice on the bottom. I'm putting my world famous taco meat on the top, and then I'm gonna put some tomatoes on it because that's the only other topping we have. And then Wait, break up. Is there cheese? Oh, yeah, we have cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then break up the taco shells into little bits. My first bite's here. Don't take a look at all. You're a freaking angel. How is it? Sensational. It was gas. No, this is Chase Carney. He tried, uh, Tried Barube's meal and rated it pretty high, which uh, I don't know. I don't know if that was true rating or not, but he's gonna try my meal I cooked. Uh, I mean, that Rolf and I cooked. It's not bad. Yeah, pretty oh. standard taco. All right, cut. <laughs> oh, we're, we're preparing my haircut right now. I've been. I think Jamin Rolf, with the advisory of uh, Wicker over here. Yeah, I we're gonna see if we could get him a nice little cut. I've been right wanting now. a haircut for a while now, so I think it's today I pulled the trigger on it. I unplugged your Wi Fi. <laughs> this is just a normal day in the life for me. So. And oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! My god. oh it's uh, what kind of scissors are these, Rolf? Uh, my kitchen scissors. Yeah. You too. Are we gonna use like kitchen scissors? No. I don't know no, about I, getting, no, like, Can you trim my beard too? Are they gold? Yeah, I can trim them. All right, thanks. Are they gold? Is that good? Dude, it's baller. All right, so, you know, we're done with Gav's haircut. We're going to do a little bit of a reveal here. Um, let's get this off. <laughs> uh, I'm pleasantly surprised by this. This is a... Are you too? Yeah, I, I, I mean, this is, this is beautiful, it's a beautiful I mean, color. I've never cut someone with like long, thick hair like yeah. that, so yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful haircut, you know, average day in the life, getting great cuts by rolls. So, so uh, night's, night's almost coming to an end here, my haircut. Haircut's looking pretty good. Haircut's looking pretty good, I can't lie. I can't lie, I was expecting a lot worse, but uh, you know, we're gonna end it with a snack, some dino nuggets, and then uh, we do a movie night almost every night before game day, so uh, you know, watch a movie and get to bed. It was a pleasure, pleasure having you guys with me for a day in the life.